All right, so welcome to this video on the 2015 section B question for ordinary level. All right, so this is based on the HSA logo, and we're going to do this okay in isometric. All right, so part A now the grid is 225. All right, the height is 105 here, so I'm going to set up this grid right now. I'm just going to put my move my visualizer here. Okay, and I'm just going in from the bottom left hand corner of my page and I'll just switch that there right so the height of it check your question for the height of it all right the height of the logo okay you want to get into the habit of learning this yourself so it's 105 and now what's the length of it it's 225 okay so I'm going to draw in a line at 30 degrees here okay and I'm gonna mark 225 on it careful that we don't mark 255 on it particularly if you're after doing the previous year the length 255 in it now we're going to go up 105 I'm just going to pause the video here for a moment now so we've gone up 105 and now we're going to connect these together it says the grid is made up of squares of 15 millimeters so we're going to mark every 15 okay along this axis so 15 30 45 60 75 90 105 120 135, 150, 165, 180, 195, okay, 210, and 225. Keep your set square stationary, marking these in to increase accuracy. Now we're going to do it going upward. So 15, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. Right, so we're going to draw the lines up vertically. So that's what we're do doing with the lines. So I'm going to pause uh, this video and do that. And then, uh, then we'll do the ones horizontally. Okay, now that's that that's done, we can do the ones that represent the horizontal lines. And remember, in isometric horizontal lines are drawn at 30 degrees. Okay, now what we need to do now is represent the thickness of the object now it says this is going to be 10 millimeters thick in plan view so we're going to turn our 60 degree or 60 30 set square round and we're going to mark a 30 degree line here from the bottom left corner and it goes back a distance of 10. okay now we can go up here as well lightly back the same distance and over here lightly back the same distance of 10 at an angle of 30 degrees now connect these points up here so now our letters are going to fit into this grid okay so our objective is here next is to plot the letters in Right, so I'll just leave it there, okay? And there won't be a massive amount of talking uh, from me in me in this one uh, in this part, as you want to develop the skills yourself.
So there's the letter S done. Now the A. So we're going over one there. And notice on the A, to get this point, we're going over two. And we're going to join together. So over two here. Then on the far side, we're going to connect them together. Right now, to do the interior part of the letter A, look at these light lines here. They're the key to solving it. Okay, now. The bar is three three up. So light here's the bar here that we're going to heavy in. And then here we can heavy in our letter A. Now, so that's the letter that's heavied in. Now the next purpose is to go back at 30 degrees from each of these lines. So look, from the corner of the H, back 30 degrees, okay, for 10 millimeters. So until, basically until it hits uh, the back line, back line there. So 10. Ten. Now in here. Ten. Okay, these points join together. Okay, thirty degrees. Then here, the letters are getting thickness. Down here on the letter H, back ten. It's got to go upwards then. That hits the bar. Making sure you're putting in your heavy lines. Okay, now the H is done. Now we're going to deal with the letter S. So it's 30 degrees here so basically from all the corners you're going back at 30 degrees all right and marking the thickness of the object in plan on them but that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll see a surface like this here okay it's just simply uh, back 10 now they connect together and notice the way a 45 degree angle in the isometric okay equates to a 60 degree angle Okay, but that rule doesn't work for everything okay it's only a coincidence okay it can uh, you cannot transfer angles in isometric it only just happens that that can be usefully done so we're having in the letter s thinking what distance are we going back okay what angle um, what angle we're going back in isometric horizontal lines are drawn at 30 degrees and uh, the distances remain the same in isometric drawn. So if you hear anybody tell you different, remind them that this is isometric drawing and not isometric projection. Okay, so back 30 degrees from this line, little bit in inaccuracy there. Then straight down from here. Okay, same over here on our letter S. So we're gone past 10, 10 minutes in the video, so we're nearly done. All right, so this line has to go back in this direction to give the letter S thickness. Now we'll deal with the letter A. Right, so back at our 30 degrees here for 10. Mil. Okay, same down here back 
and join these together okay now on the corner of the A so back 10 and the question is where does this join to all right well this line joined to that point the back one it joins to this one here but you have to do it light a portion of it lightly look line them up and it heavy in the section you see so anything that runs through the letter you can't see and in we don't add hidden detail in uh, pictorial drawn in three dimensions and no need to add it in All right so we have one one last part of the letter a to do now next and that is here so it follows the same principle as that line it's back 10 And this point would join to here, right? It joined to here. Now, um, slightly inaccurate there. Okay, so I was going to bring that on, on to there. So there, back ten, uh, 10, that was a little bit more than 10 now in all honesty. Okay, and join there the reason I went a little bit over 10 is because if I had to match that it's just the visualizer makes it awkward to maintain accuracy and plus there's a, a bump on the desk I'm using right that's the question complete now so that is what I really need you to master in class right cheers thank you bye bye